you bring up a very interesting point. Okay, let's talk about it. Um, I'll start off by a little lighter topic. Uh, and I think this would be one if people wanted to comment, it would be a great subscribe to us and then also comment. Let's start a discussion. Yeah. Um, so at first I was going to talk about, we just, you know, just came from a very quiet, listening to the frogs environment, yet people passed us and they were listening to a radio as they walked. And I thought, you know, it's an interesting, I think we probably talked about radios last summer. Yeah, I remember talking about it uh, in the Des Plaines River hike of Lake County. Yeah. Um, and, and is that, is that obtrusive or not? Is that off-putting to other hikers or inconsiderate? So I'll tell you, for me, it's it doesn't bother me. If people are walking on a hiking trail in nature and they've brought a radio along or they've brought speakers along and they're playing music, they're blasting music, that doesn't bother me. Does All that right. bother you? If they were blasting music, yes. I um for the most part, yeah, you know, I'm not here to listen to music. Oh, oh, oh. Deer. Bunch of deer right here. Aww. See, this is what I'm here for. I'm here for the walk and the deer. I want to have nature and wildlife encounters. Yeah. Um, if I wanted the radio, I'd be in the car. But that's my take. Right. And clearly, you know, we, for the most part, we're going to meet somebody we're walking past. So the radio is going to be a distraction for a teeny bit, not for a very long time. Right, and that's the that's the thing that I'm thinking about right now is this preserve is a great example of being able to hold both. So they walked by with their radio on, and we got to experience the deer. And the frogs. And the frogs. So it's not like one is causing the other to disappear. Um, so the topic which turned on the camera was the camera. Open for discussion. Love to hear your comments. Please comment. Let us know what you think. The the question is, is us filming, you know, if somebody walks by while we're filming, is that discourteous to the other person? Should we turn off kind of when we see them so we don't even get, put them in the situation where they may or may not be um, okay with it? So or just my... continue filming and let people walk by or hide behind a tree or whatever it is they're going to do. So I'm hearing that you have been taking a proactive stance on that. So you turn the camera off before it gets anybody on film because I you try to, yes, yeah. you feel like that they would be bothered and right. And we have someone walking. Oh so yeah. I think that well, let's walk while we we will. See, yeah. see, this is me. This is this is the problem that we're encountering, and, and we're trying to figure it out because there's we don't know. But we could turn the camera off and maybe cut our videos early, or um, have them be disrupted by taking the proactive stance to preserving someone's privacy, or do we ignore? people were around do we do we continue to record if we're passing someone on the trail are, are people hiking part of the landscape what are people hiking part of the landscape uh, uh, I mean uh, one okay, way to okay. think of it is is if we cut out the people or never show people that's that's somewhat artificial because there are always people yeah well and so I was gonna say so we can take that the proactive stance and cut it short and, and protect their privacy uh, or if that's, can, if that's a concern of theirs, which well, we're making the assumption that it is. Right, so, or which do we continue? clearly to, more of my generation issue than yours. <laughs> so do we continue to record, get them on camera, and then if, if you as a person are really bothered by the invasion of privacy, I would, I would have the hopes that, that you come up to me and say, hey, I don't want to be on camera. It looks like you're recording. You know, I put the responsibility on the passerby to voice their concerns. Because we are in a public place and we are allowed to record this. And so if another person is in this pub sharing this public place, 
where do the lines, you know, where does the courteous, uh, courtesy lie? Um, and I just, I believe that it should be up to the other person to make, make a statement that they don't want to be recorded. If they feel that strongly about it. And obviously like we're not we gonna... could make the statement with people passing by with radio saying, turn it down. Yeah. Which I wouldn't do because I know that they're passing by. If we're hanging out at a, a, a big vantage point or something, and it's really bothering me and taking away from my experience at that place, and they're not moving and I'm not moving, yeah, I might, I might be inclined to say, please turn it down. Just like, I feel like if I'm walking by and someone's recording a video, I'm not gonna be inclined to say, please don't record me if we're just passing by. Yeah. Now, now if we're recording at a vantage point, uh, and someone's record, you know, and getting me on film for a minute or several minutes or a long period of time, I may be inclined to say, please stop. But again, it, I feel like it, it's on me to say, hey, I don't like this. All right, so I'm gonna throw an exception out there, which is kids. Kids don't really have the wherewithal to make it, and, and really, you know, it, that, that is certainly more up to us to be proactive and not have, you know, video of kids. So I guess my thoughts are, and again, please comment below if you think there is any, you know, if you wanna voice your opinion on the matter, uh, comment below, put a, put a timestamp so we know what part of this conversation you're responding to. Well, that's a smart idea. Uh, so, children and kids. If the kids are with their parents, I think their responsibility falls on their parents to say, I don't want my child recorded. If the child's alone, if it's like a teenager or a preteen or something, and they're alone, no parents, I think they're not considered in that moment to be not allowed to be on film. What does that mean in, in not double negative language? So like, I think it would be okay to get them passing by on, on film. So as we don't have to stop our own experience to be courteous to them or something along those lines. Okay. <laughs> Well, I'm glad we're throwing it out here because this is definitely an area where I think we agree to disagree. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would feel very strong. I do feel very strongly about it. Like, I don't like imposing my will on others in the first place. Um, but I definitely don't think it's okay to be doing that uh, to people that don't have the ability to stand up for themselves or, or shouldn't have to in the case of kids. What would you draw that line at the typical like 18 years old? I would draw it on anything that I would feel that, that I would have an internal you know like they weirdness look too about. young to be. Yeah I mean if they're 20 and they look like they're 16 I'm still gonna be like well yeah uh, well let's you know give it the better for the doubt as possible the toys like no don't just yeah you know. yeah yeah and and that's a good that's a good thing to controversy to throw in. But bringing it back, generally speaking, if we're on the move, I don't feel inclined to stop my, my video, my experience in public, in nature, for the potential upsetness of another person. All right. Looking forward to hearing from you.